let's go. Okay, guys, ladies, gentlemen, everyone who joined our evening today, uh, we will talk about weird cults in our countries, in our culture, and uh, um, I can't, I can't just uh, uh, do not to mention cult of Pes Patron in Ukraine. <laughs> so, okay, who is Pes Patron? Like Pes Patron is just mascot. It just mascot, and it started from. Uh, um, for example, uh, his uh, page in Instagram. He, uh, you know, like, as you can see, it's a very charming uh, dog, <laughs> and um, very often he uh, this account in Instagram share some information. <laughs> he is so cute. <laughs> They share some information about uh, uh, rescuing of dogs in Ukraine, but it started from a um, problem in Ukraine about meaning of ter ter territory of Ukraine. So it's a sum symbol of the meaning. Uh, <laughs> look, look at him. <laughs> It's a symbol of the meaning of Ukraine, uh, territory of Ukraine. So, and um, after one year later, uh, one musician uh, uh, wrote this. Um, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. One minute. Sorry. Uh, I hope it will be okay. So uh, this um, singers uh, wrote this song, Pes Patron, you will listen it a little bit. And uh, this song is very important because you will understand why. A few, a few, a few moments less. So uh, I will share this link to everyone uh, and uh, like uh, why don't have the sounds? Uh, it's so sad. So uh, this song is very important. I will send you all these links uh, to chat. Uh, and uh, um, uh, after this, uh, we have this um, uh, cartoon about Pest Patron. So you can also visit this page because it's very funny uh, cartoons in which uh, explain it um, uh, what to do if you find something dangerous. So it's cartoons for kids. But <laughs> when adults find something for kids uh, and uh, it's always uh, turned into some madness. Uh, because after this, <clears throat> uh, uh, this cartoon uh, uh, has this intro of this song, but we didn't listen it. <laughs> and uh, in Twitter, uh, we have in TikTok, we have a very special, um, um, like I don't know how it's called it when everyone made this cover and a lot of people in TikTok made cover on the song uh, Pes Patron and they take it uh, like uh, very uh, famous songs and uh, singing they on uh, this is um, uh, their own versions and singing. yeah huh? their own singing their own versions yes yes so it's always, always the same song, Pes Patron, the same text, but they think like Evanescence or like uh, My Chemical Romance or something like this. So, and uh, oh, it's, it's like, I will send all these links to you because like, for example, this one, uh, like Black and White, they take traditional Ukrainian song 
and <laughs> think that it's on uh, about test patron. So and what's your favorite one? Uh, about evanescence and about um, mm, I, I forgot this mm, uh, Bon Jovi Pes Patron. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's, it's so crazy. It's so, like <laughs> it's so funny. So I also like uh, for Radiohead Creep. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Creep. Of Pes Patron song. Yeah, yeah. Creep and evanescence. <laughs> it's so weird. but it's not it's not it, it is not the end because after songs we have this like um uh right uh, ukrainian artist uh, they uh, took the very famous uh, uh um covers of the <laughs> albums and uh, painted on the, on the past patron. <laughs> <laughs> For example, this is famous cover of Nirvana, <laughs> Nirvana oh album. But yeah, like it's, it's more, it's more. For example, um, can you guess <laughs> what is this? <laughs> David Bowie. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, this one, <laughs> my chemical romance. <laughs> Black parade. <laughs> Black parade, yes. And, and like, uh, uh, for example, oh yeah, you know everyone. Fear <laughs> <laughs> and best patron. Oh, patron rhapsody. <laughs> yes, patron and there are a lot of them. Uh, I don't know some of them, but it's like it's gorgeous. I I love it so hard. But it now the latest latest uh, uh, part of madness about Pest Patron. They took uh, uh, like Pest Patron as character of anime anime. Who knows? <laughs> Pest Patron as <is> Sailor Moon. <laughs> 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 Best Patron is like a um, chainsaw man. It's very uh, famous uh, anime, but it's, it's amazing. And Best Patron and, and Neo Genesis Evangelion. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Best Patron and Attack on Titans. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. My, my, my stomach age because. <laughs> Patron and Naruto. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. So yeah. Welcome to welcome to Cult of Pest Patron. <laughs> um, this is a, stu a stupid question. Does Pez just mean dog? Yes. Okay. What's the difference between that and Sobaka? Uh be because a no Pez difference. is actually no, is there are no difference, but Pez it's actually Slavic. Okay. Word. And Sobaka we borrow from some Iranian language, maybe from uh, Pechenegs, it was tribes in Middle Age, and we took this uh, words, but it's the same meaning. Okay. Uh, yeah. And um, so, what, do uh, think, what do you think the man himself thinks about all of this? Do you think he knows how famous he is? The dog? Oh, so sorry. I didn't, I didn't address the question. Please, can you repeat? Do you think? Do you think Patron is aware of his his infamy? Yes, 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 yes. He were he shared this like um, uh, this songs uh, uh, covers on Pes Patron in his Instagram, and he <laughs> he told that he likes everything <laughs> because like Pes Patron aware about this so we have this cult of best patron we have cartoons we have songs we have uh, pictures <laughs> we have all of this madness and like i now i will send everything in chat so mm -hmm. if you want to copy uh, this all links and watch in your free time because like it's everything it's good it it, it it's good and it's very funny yeah but yeah, so uh, 
uh, why, uh, wait a minute. You, you can share your opinions about this, uh, and I will uh, share your uh, links about Pes Patrons. Well, I think he's the most charismatic cult leader who's come around for a long time. Personally, <laughs> that's because I like dogs. <laughs> For me, it's interesting that uh, although I know that the patron has a different meaning in Ukrainian, <laughs> uh, in Spanish, it's, as I told you, boss. So basically, he is the boss. He is the guy. And uh, it, it's, it, for me, it's surprising like how he is actually the boss of the cult, not only in Ukrainian language, but also in Spanish language. So it's like yeah, because cult. in this song, this patron, like uh, he described it as a boss. So you are right. <laughs> so you know, you know a leader when you see one. He's a leader, like in in many languages. Yes. <laughs> so uh, I I send it all the links. So please copy uh, copy and uh, save it because like. Cartoons is good, uh, uh, song is good, uh, and uh, I hope you will enjoy it as much as I when I prepared all these materials. Yeah, well, thank you. I will. I'll, I'll add it to the description in the video as well when I post it. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, cool. So, and wait, 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 Vitaly, you don't like Cult of Pes Patron. You told me that. Yeah, I just... <laughs> don't like all that uh, um, misuse or abuse even of all the symbols uh, nowadays as they call all the seeds and all the f food in restaurants naming uh, javelin, bayraktar, pes patron and all that <laughs> madness that happens around this is it's too much for me Mm -hmm. I have different opinion. I have different opinion because for me, like <clears throat> pes patron, it's a very important symbol because it's very um, pes patron uh, was created by war, by the war, and when people use this symbol, uh, they always remain. Uh, this symbol always reminded about that. A big part of our territory mined by Russians, and uh, when they use the symbol of Pes Patron in songs, in pictures, uh, it's like when people trying to um, accept war as a part of their lives. So you can mention. Pes Patron without understanding why we have this mascot. So that's why I like Pes Patron, because he shows how we try and how we copy uh, uh, the war. I think this is very important. And also yeah. that you say that you have cartoons for children, like teaching them what to do in such cases. I mean, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in a um, nowhere situation, you would not need to discuss this with a child. But yes, unfortunately, yes. it is what it is. And maybe I think, well, I, I'm a foreigner, of course. I think that this is an attempt also to make children cope with this reality. Yes, yes. So uh, it's, it's funny because like uh, humor helps uh, to cope in uh, um, such hard situation, such horrible situation as war. Uh, but Pes Patron actually helps. Like, we have a lot of fun uh, and we share um, our humor and our positive emotions, uh, emotions to each other just to help each other to cope in and to hold. Um, is this our hard times? So yeah, that's why I like cult of pes cult of pes patron. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> That's awesome. It can be uh, it can be really great simulacrum, but uh, it cannot be uh, this much abused. Like you, we have a lot of, uh, as I mentioned, we have a lot of menu items that are called pass patrons. It's pass how patron it's how something. memes works. It's how memes uh, yeah, works. Yeah, but it's uh, it's the the consequence of this cult. Uh, like there are a lot of uh, I just googled uh, pass patron menu and uh, what I see is uh, a children menu with the dishes named pass patrons something uh, in different uh, places uh, some travel box uh, from pass patron why and uh, it means the kids many, many watch other this cartoon things that, yeah but uh, why sh why abuse it? It is it's it's a cartoon. It's okay. It's a funny song. It's okay. But why do you call some ice cream Pass Patron's balls? Why? <laughs> it's like <clears throat> all cults have their fans like who uh, <laughs> wear it too much in cult <laughs> like you know crusaders they was like fanatic of, <laughs> of Jesus Christ sorry I didn't know <laughs> I have ice cream and I want to try it <laughs> Oh, well, okay, okay. We have another cult. We have okay. another cult. I d didn't prepare materials, but uh, uh, we have cult of uh, uh, mm -hmm. and we have we have a reason of cult of uh, Vitaly. Can you please translate what is Ukrainian <laughs> uh, Ukrainian railway. Yes. Because uh, when uh, full-scale invasion started, uh, um, uh, Ukrainian railway uh, helped to evacuate people for free. So all the trains helped to evacuate people to the west of Ukraine and out, uh, in, uh, and they uh, evacuated into another countries from west part of Ukraine. So. <clears throat> And this is very important because Russians very often bombed some uh, Ukrainian railway stations. But Ukrzaliznitsa always came in time. Even after they were bombed, uh, uh, in, uh, even after these railways uh, uh, destroyed, they always find the way to bring people into cities in time. So we have this like cult of, of, uh, um, uh, how it will Vdachnist into? Grace or, yeah, grace. Gratitude. Yeah, cult of grace, gratitude, gratitude, gratitude to, to the Ukraine because it's, uh, it's protects, protect, it helps, it saves people so it's another uh, cult of uh, in ukraine uh, it's cult of ukrzaliznica and we have like this meme about uh, dogs when like deutsche bahn it's <laughs> it's german <laughs> railway and they're like oh we have a lot of, of snow we can move and ukrzaliznica i was bombed but i move <laughs> yeah <laughs> I like these so, Ukrainian yeah. cults because they don't involve some really egotistical leader who, um, you know, gets everyone to follow him. It's like <laughs> instead you're following. Uh, not all of them. Yeah. Not all of them. We also have a cult of Mister Aristovich. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Oh shit. Oh yeah. We have some, but it's almost as religious, I think, because like people obsessed of uh, Aristovich and think that. All he uh, uh, shit hole with his um, <laughs> his mouth is <laughs> saying it's like it's true. <laughs> like, You're very guys, accurate. <laughs> yeah, it's a very accurate description of, <laughs> of Aristovich. But yes, 
uh, oh, so guys maybe you have all your own stories about calls because like I told everything I wanted so I am ready to hear your stories your opinions I've so, also heard that yeah? there is a cult of uh, Poroshenko uh, similar to oh, how there is a cult of Trump in the US <laughs> <laughs> we'll have too many comments <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Maybe Patron should run for president next. Yes. I have seen many memes about Klitschko. But we don't have cult of Klitschko. <laughs> and you know, you actually, uh, the amount of Jack Russell terriers uh, in the streets uh, just grow in numbers for the last year for uh, the period when Vas Patron appeared. It's you know it's you know when uh, uh, for example uh, there was a, a movie about um, Sir Bernard called Beethoven. Yeah. Beethoven. Yes. And, but, yes, and all Sir Bernard's was Beethoven. <laughs> <laughs> so like every once in a while right, they come up with a movie about dogs. I wonder if there are now going to be children named Patron in Ukraine. <laughs> I, I hope no. I hope <laughs> there, there's bound to be a few. <laughs> like, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Tequila Don Patron. It's like, oh. Yeah, it's like a brand I, of tequila that. because it, it's like, I, I you have like the rest of tequilas and then we have like Tequila Don Patron. It's like the boss of all the killers. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Mm. I think a Sandy cult. started telling us about a cult. Yes. Uh, it so wasn't. Sorry. It's it's not as interesting as Pez Patron. It was just this um, weird Christian cult that started on the west coast of New Zealand, and I think it ended up having about seven hundred members at one point. But they were just this very isolated community that. Um, nobody really knew what was going on in there and uh, since we've heard a lot of terrible things about that happened there and it was called Gloria Vale um, but it, not nearly as cool as Pez Bichon and some very uh, sick uh, egotistical um, evangelist leader who started it all so like a real real cult <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> mm. A classic cult. <laughs> I, I I am I am thinking about us. Oh, I mean, in Mexico we have many many religions. If you if you are talking like about cults in the classic sense, uh, we have many religions. But we are not talking about cults in classic sense. Are we talking about Pes Patron? <laughs> I, 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 about about some some figure like Pes Patron in in Mexico. I think we don't have. Uh, such such figure. I'm trying to think. Mm. <laughs> well, the 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 okay. The, the I can help you. I can, okay, I uh -huh. can help you because I I remember it in another cult. <laughs> okay. For example, it may be maybe it will help you. Mm -hmm. We also have cult of bread. So Vitaly can ah. uh, like uh, yeah so. Is uh, very connected with our culture, so we have a lot of like traditions. Uh, what we do with bread, for example, mm -hmm. you can uh, to straw bread. Like if it's like uh, <laughs> you can't waste bread, you can, um, uh, for example, uh, use your hands when you cut and like you can. You only can use uh, a knife when you mm -hmm. want a piece of bread. Mm, we also have when you uh, cut first part of the bread, you you need to give it to a married uh, woman or girl. Oh. Uh, and <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's first first part of bread when you cut it. Like it uh, is a crunchy part. It's a crunchy part. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we are uh, also uh, like uh, in the very important events like a marriage or uh, for Easter, uh, uh, we uh, make bread, special bread. 
So yeah, we also have like this cult of bread. It's connected with our culture, but also connected with our uh, uh, trauma of uh, Holodomor. Uh, because, uh, for example, my uh, grandmother uh, told me to eat everything with bread. So even watermelons, I eat uh, with bread. <laughs> So, because like you don't know when you will have bread again, so you need mm. to eat everything with bread, and uh, uh, to be to be full and to don't feel hunger. So we have another cult of, uh, for example, a cult of bread. Yana, it's actually a very sad to cult. To Mexico. It's a very sad <laughs> cult, and uh, unlike uh, Vespatron, it could be funny, mm -hmm. but Brad's cult is really uh, that unconscious, traumatizing cult, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that's uh, mm -hmm. it's very hard for many people to but... stop eating everything with bread, uh, like mm -hmm. watermelons. I've also come came across such stories, like people are eating watermelon with bread, or even they take a uh, uh, cake. Uh, with cream and uh, put this cream on the bread in the, 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 such way. Uh, 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 sorry, I don't understand. So the cake has cream and they take yeah. the cream out of the cake and, and, cake, put, and put cake, it on the bread. Cake, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a, bi oh. a biscuit cake uh, with cream. They just uh -huh. this cream with the biscuit and uh, okay. put it on the bread and eat it this way. Mm. So I the trauma is that strong. Mm. Mm -hmm. This, uh, I but... believe, especially with older people, maybe. Yeah, yeah. But younger, like, you know, just have it in heritage, like uh, in habits. It's, the it's been passed your... down, though, hasn't it? The grandparents, yeah. Mm -hmm. In in Mexico, I I I would say we also have cult of bread, but we have more cult of tortilla. Uh, so for example, if you come to Mexico, uh, you will notice that um, we have two types of bread, the savory one, but we are like really famous for the sweet, sweet one. Uh, the, we have many, many different variants of sweet bread. Sweet bread is the one that's prepared with uh, sugar, uh, it has chocolate, it has jams, depending on the type, we have many, many variants of these bread uh, and uh, sometimes this bread has really 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 uh funny names uh so for us like it's customary to eat these these uh sweet bread we eat uh, usually sweet bread uh in the breakfast in the dinner uh it's like a, a, even for example in some families you you have bread on the table but there are people who don't like bread and can and prefer tortillas tortillas you can have for breakfast for dinner for supper and for example in my own family my mother my brother they cannot eat if there are not, not tortillas for them they need to eat these with tortillas and there are some people uh not maybe like uh by the the circumstances uh like holodomor uh but need a tortilla to eat it's similar um uh, for for bread, I I like bread. Uh, but uh, for example, uh, black variant, like I believe in Ukraine, it's really important. Black bread, maybe I'm mistaken. Uh, for us, it's not so common. For us, it's uh, white bread, but not white bread like the like the bread that you buy, like in the supermarket. Of course, we have that, but uh, I don't know how to say in Ukrainian. Sorry. Uh, but the word that I know, it's uh, like bulochka. I don't know if it's Ukrainian word, but we have this. This is like our variant, and we have many memes about bread. So I am I am from Mexico City, and um, in Mexico, the people from Mexico City, we are known as chilangos. They call us like that. Some people think it's like a respective way to address us, but it's not important. Uh, to me, I'm not offended by it. So we have many memes about a uh, chilango called to uh, this bread which we call bolillo, but resembles like buloshka. So when a chilango dies, he is buried, not in a coffin, but in a buloshka. Chilango, when a chilango proposes marriage, he gives the bride not, not a marriage ring, but a buloshka, because it's so important. Uh, well, the, the rest of the country makes fun of us because of this. 
sorry. Uh, so uh, we have many memes about this, and uh, it's it's like uh, this uh, this story. So yes, we could say that uh, we have a a cult of bread and tortillas as well. So uh, it's it's not tragic, and I believe that if you come to Mexico, you will see this. Well, we oh I, I remember that we have not tragic cult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, we have tragic just, cult. <laughs> if you want, I can share with you like some recipes of how to prepare some types of of Mexican bread, sweet Mexican mm -hmm. bread, and mm -hmm. maybe you'll like it. We also have a lot of uh, uh, sweet breads, uh, uh, but for example, um, uh, every every uh, Christmas, uh, uh, some uh, uh, we have this cult of uh, pampuhi. <laughs> <laughs> because it's it's uh, sweet uh, little pies you fry mm -hmm. it and it uh, have uh, some sweet flavors inside so uh, every uh, christmas you need to eat this and uh, mm -hmm. but but this traditions uh, mm -hmm. tradition comes from only uh, western part of ukraine so Westerners, mm. our who lives, they were so proud about this pampuhi, about mm -hmm. this uh, pies, and they always mocking as uh, Ukrainians. Going, oh, you don't know what is pampuhi. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have this cult of pampuhi because everyone now interested what is pampuhi and try trying to find this pampuhi in this in own region and <laughs> to, to find out what is it. So so these pampuhi are different from pampushki that you eat no, with no, no 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 pampuhi pampuhi is sweet pampushki uh -huh. is uh, like with garlic so oh. you can yes so <laughs> they are different they garlic. are different they this... were different it's very were different like... type of uh, uh, breads like so yes mm -hmm. it's like so you bake I, I it ha... it's uh... so sorry i have seen pictures of pampushki with some green herbs like uh, they put some i don't know it, butter it's and onion, green herbs oh, it's oh, onion gosh. garlic uh, water and uh, uh, sunflowers oil so mm -hmm. uh, when you mm -hmm. bake it uh, papushki mm -hmm. you need to put them on this uh, um, uh, water uh, oil uh, onion garlic mm -hmm. so it's like it, it, it you make them wet <laughs> mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. with wash it's like perfect match it's perfect match oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes i have seen pictures of this uh, and, and they look like um like so like they are little pillows like so soft i don't i don't know how to say this <laughs> <laughs> and, and and they are and they are they are soft uh, some part of them crunchy and uh, when you mm -hmm. put on this garlic uh, mm -hmm. melted with oil it and eat it it's it's wet but it's so tasty it's so good <laughs> we have a sweet variant but we prepare it with orange zest and we call it uh, it, it it has like this shape of uh bambushki, but we call it colchon colchon de naranja which literally means mattress like the mattress of your bed because it's so soft mattress of orange orange mattress which is na na naranja in spanish <laughs> wow it's so we are, uh, not all uh, cults in ukraine are tragic because you know <laughs> okay i have some joke about this about ukrainian tragic <laughs> wait <laughs> Mm -hmm. Because um, I, I am a tutor of the Ukrainian language and the Ukrainian lit literature. And um, after full-scale invasion started, uh, one of my ex-students uh, wrote this uh, uh, post uh, this, uh, and she told that I never understand uh, why Ukrainian literature is so sad. Now I do. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sad but true. I was like, sad but true, yes. <laughs> now we have a lot of this very sad cult, but uh, <laughs> it, 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 it's because our history uh, was in that way that we need this cult to copy in of our <laughs> tragedies. <laughs> but, I, I, I... but we have I a good sense of humor. We have good <laughs> a sense of humor. As a nation, we have a good sense of humor. But you know, uh, uh, it's also a coping mechanism. <laughs> I, I think that most uh, cults are like this, like a coping mechanism. Because, for example, with us, like I was telling you about bread, and this bread is like super important for us. And maybe you know that Mexico is on a seismic zone. So we have like. Um, like like uh, earthquakes. Uh, some of them were really really hard. For example, in 1986, we had a big one, and 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 Mexico City was devastated. Uh, so uh, we even have this uh, like ingrained in those uh, when you are scared, the the first thing or some people will do is actually offer you a piece of bread, and we say literally like pal susto, which is like slang to say because you are scared. So, so if you're scared or, or the child is scared, you immediately give a piece of bread. And it has to be this special bread, it's bolillo, as, as we call it. Uh, so uh, I have told you about like the day of the death. Uh, so, so that, of course, is tragic. But for us in our culture, I think that all these things that we have around the Day of the Dead, these characters painting, uh, dressing in specific ways, like a coping mechanism as well. So uh, we have songs uh, like saying uh, "Canta y no llores," like "Sing, do not cry," or 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 uh, "Me río para no llorar." I I laugh so I don't cry, uh, but it's part of our culture, and and I think that this is. In my opinion, of course, I cannot speak for all of Mexico, but in my opinion, I think that this is one of the things that that uh, is not not the same, of course, but similar to to what you're mm-hmm. saying. Mm-hmm. In Ukraine, uh, like we have wow, one of famous poet poets poetry. Mm-hmm. Like poetry, Lesi Ukrainka, and uh, mm-hmm. in her poem, uh, we, have, we have similar words. Shopne plakat ya smiyales. So I laugh it because I didn't want to cry. Mm-hmm. So it, it's so similar. Like every time when we speak about Mexico's uh, culture uh, and Ukrainian culture, we see all the similar similarities. <laughs> Did you mention we it? Have, <laughs> yes, we have actually a poet, uh, which is Ricardo Lopez Nandes, and he wrote a poem that it's called El Credo, which means the, the creed, like the profession of faith. And the first uh, paragraph of the poem says, like, uh, Mexico, I believe in you. Uh, like the... Mm, Oh, I don't know how to say this word in English. I'm sorry. Let me translate it real quick. Um, like the vertex. It's it's like a, in Spanish, it's vertice. Like the vertex of a, a, of a promise. You smell like tragedy, oh my love. Uh, but yet you laugh too much. Maybe because you know that laughter is like the wrapping of a quiet pain. This is the first, uh, of, it's my translation, of course. It's the first part of the, of these, of these, uh, poem. Uh, it's really beautiful poem. Like if you, um, read it in, in Spanish, uh, but, uh, also there's another part. Maybe, you know, that in, uh, well, the name, the name of Mexico is written with an X and, uh, it says like, uh, Me- Hiko, I believe in you because your name has an X. And in in Catholic religion, you, when you go to the cemetery, you see the crosses, like in the tombs, tombs. So I believe in you because you write your name with an X. And the X resembles like the cross, like 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 uh, the Calvary. And because the, the, the eagle from your uh, coat of arms 
place like uh, to the when you do this action i don't know how to say it when you flip the coin so the eagle in your crest flips the coin and has fun playing with life and with death so so this is this is a very interesting poem i i, I can share it uh with you so you can read it in spanish uh and maybe Could you put it in translate it in english yes of course Thanks. Uh, so, and uh, Rebecca, like mm. you trying to put me into cult of Spanish language, yes? Again? <laughs> Have I succeeded? <laughs> Again? Because, Have I succeeded? Like, I, I'm holding myself because, like, I don't know English uh, very much, <laughs> but every time you speak Spanish, every time you said, like, like this, then you know, I need to learn some Spanish. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, how popular is the Spanish language in Ukraine? Not very popular, actually. Italian is more popular than Spanish. Okay. And German for... is more popular than Spanish. But, but for example, if you are like in the school in Ukraine, studying, like very student, uh, what do you get? You like, don't options? have... Uh, uh, no, no, you don't have option to learn Spanish. You have option to learn German uh, uh -huh. and uh, sometimes French, sometimes. Oh. But uh, English, German, and French. But uh, Spanish, mm -hmm. it's very rare. It's very rare mm -hmm. only in the, in the universities you have opportunity to learn Spanish. But mm -hmm. I don't know why. Because, like, mm -hmm. it's very... Uh, Almost all uh, America, like South and East, uh, mm -hmm. South, well, South and North America speak on uh, mm -hmm. Spanish. And why mm -hmm. we don't learn it? It, it, it? I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know either. Uh, so, but uh, it's the same with us. Like, for example, the most popular options would be like uh, English, uh, French, uh, German. Mm -hmm. Uh, some some like uh, private schools or for example we have uh, schools that belong to a religious minority like for example some hebrew schools uh they they have these more uh, let's say exotic languages but for example if you want to learn ukrainian here you would have to to look uh, for someone willing to teach you it's not like we have or maybe if you go like to some big language school like Berlitz and you say I want to learn Ukrainian, uh, of course they will find someone and, and they will charge you accordingly because it's as I said it's a, like an exotic language here. So I believe that Arabic is more popular than Ukrainian here. Mm, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. But it is also important. It's all as Spanish. It's also very important language because <clears throat> all Arabic words, like uh, it's a lot of mm -hmm. countries, uh, they speak this language. So yeah, it's you should to learn this language mm -hmm. if you want some business, for example, mm -hmm. to sell oil, mm -hmm. maybe to marry yeah. some <laughs> Arab prince. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Oh my god! No, I don't know. Like for for example, Sam in, in New Zealand, which language are popular? Um, in primary school, everyone learns Maori. Uh, some schools are they're called immersion schools where kids do everything in Maori. Um, but mm -hmm. there's not very many of those. And then at high school, you can learn. I'm just trying to remember what definitely French, German, Spanish. Mm. Some people oh. like to learn Japanese. Mm. Yeah. It depends on your school, though. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sandy, only like a few days ago, I realized that, that you're from New Zealand and uh, you have like your national dance, Haka. Mm -hmm. And uh, I love it so much. It's so gorgeous. It's so full of stretch and power. And yeah. I didn't realize that, that you're from New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, that's us. And I can't put these two facts together. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I so, not scary enough? <laughs> <laughs> so do you have a, a day dedicated to this dance, Sandy? 
Um, no, it's it's um, it's a a ritual that's part of a lot of different um mm -hmm. ceremonies, like uh welcoming someone to a marae or mm -hmm. um before a. <laughs> You've probably seen it before a game of rugby. Just, um, just, just. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's not a specific day, but um, mm -hmm. uh, it's it's a big part of the part of the ceremony and ritual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. There was a really so, cool video yeah. of um about mm -hmm. hundred hundred uh, high school boys doing a haka for a, uh, I think it was for a student or a, a had someone maybe one of the teachers was leaving or something like that. And it's just quite, it's quite, um, it's quite a thing to see when hundreds of people in unison do, do that. Um, mm -hmm. Quite impressive. I, I, I'm sorry, sorry. I, I have seen videos of men, but do women also perform these dance? No, it's specifically for men, um, mm -hmm. but there are other, other, rituals like a waiata which the which women do which is mm -hmm. more which is the singing and there's a different mm -hmm. part of the there's the sort of different roles in the in the haka and um I'm trying to think how to explain it like the um This, yeah, it's it's hard to explain. There's two. There's there's sort of these separate roles that women and men have when they're doing these kind of rituals, and um, the haka, uh, like the chanting, is usually is almost always done by men, um, but then there's always women in the background as well. But they have other rituals which they are the leader of. So there's sort of different roles that they play. And they're quite okay. strict about that. Oh, because it's 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 a very tradition, uh, you know, steeped in tradition, hundred year old traditions, so thousand year old traditions mm -hmm. <laughs> about who does what. Oh my god! Mm. Uh, so it it might take years, maybe, to to master these these dance, no? Because it's uh, so powerful. It de it depends how. Um, no, but I don't think so because every every boy at high school learns how to do it for their rugby game. <laughs> so, <laughs> but whether they do it very well, you know, is a different thing. <laughs> but they all learn how to do it if 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 they if they went to high school in New Zealand, <laughs> pretty much every boy will have learned how to do a haka. Yeah. Okay. I but whether they do it video. nicely. Mm -hmm. I saw the video when uh, um, just married couple and uh, uh, husband knew <laughs> and learned haka and dance with her father and her brothers mm -hmm. and like and she cried because she saw how her husband uh, become part of her culture and I cried mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah yeah it's so That's emotional funny. yeah mm, guys i have to go um but you guys can keep going if you want to just um and uh, we forgot about cults like <laughs> yeah <laughs> about right. different... that doesn't matter that's what the open sessions are for just meandering conversations um what's what was i gonna ask does anyone have any ideas for next week I don't have yet. I don't have. I don't have yet. But uh, you know, my crazy mind. He he try to find ideas every mm -hmm. time. So maybe I will have ideas. Yeah, just, just let us know. Just let us know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was really nice to talk to everybody. Um, and I will see you next week, either at a group lesson or a open session again. Thank you so much, Sam. Thank, Thank you for this. Happy New Year. Uh, you too. Bye. Thank you, guys. Okay, so shall shall we continue or do you have to leave? <laughs> Don't have to leave. Um, 
at the office and this week there is absolutely nobody at the office with me so join the club ah, so you're lonely uh, a little bit yeah <laughs> definitely <laughs> So it, it's like from a uh, uh, Blade Runner. You feel lonely. I can fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, get a room. <laughs> That's a fun movie. No, you, you know where uh, my heart is belong to Rebecca into Spanish language. <laughs> Do you know how many rooms we need to get with? Come on. <laughs> it would be some nasty hotel. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, but like, you know, I I hmm. think that I was brainwashed by uh, a movie, um, uh, the um, uh, family of uh, oh, a sweet family. I forgot this. When he said Karamia and she answered it, Montsavash. Uh, the Adams family. Yes, yes, yes. So I think that uh, I my brain version uh, started and on this uh, movie That's because Italian. like uh... <laughs> That's Italian. <laughs> Cara mia. Uh, the, the Spanish version would be querida. Querida. Like mm -hmm. uh, loved one. And we have the, like... the male version querido. All these years, all these years, I thought that it was Spanish. <laughs> you have been living in a lie. No, no, no. <laughs> you need to <laughs> discover the power of Spanish. <laughs> we have many, many words in, in Spanish. Um, for example, uh, if you... <laughs> yes, yes, we will get that wrong, I promise. Of course, of course, of course you have. <laughs> of course we do. Um, like, uh, for example, uh, you can call someone um, that you love, maybe your significant other, um, someone that is very dear to you, you can call mi cielo. Uh, it ends with a no, so, so it's uh, masculine. Literally, mm -hmm. it happens, but you, you can call uh, like man or woman with this word, mi cielo. And and it's like heaven. It's like uh, the the word means cielo. This is like the physical thing, but you are not calling it uh, calling this person like to refer the sky. You are calling this because cielo in Spanish uh, in Catholic tradition, it's like the paradise, heaven. It's it's like mm. your heaven, your mm. paradise, your everything. You can call someone mi vida, which uh, ends in an a. And it's a feminine way, but you can call these to men or women. Uh, and it's literally, it means my life. So this person is like as precious to you as your own life. And mm. you can call someone mi corazón, which is oh, again, corazón, yes, a, a masculine my word, my heart. my heart, my heart. And this, this is just like three of the words that we have. We have many, we, we can call someone and use a diminutive for his or her name. Uh, we can have like mm -hmm. pet names, comparing the person to some cute um, animals. We can refer to someone as mi rey, uh, my king, or mi reina, my queen. Um, uh, although mi rey, uh, depend mi rey in Spanish is two words, me, my, and rey, uh, which is king. Uh, but mm -hmm. if you put them together and you read them like one word, mi rey, this has not so good connotation because this means like uh, someone uh, who is like, like a junior, someone who comes, a uh, young man from a wealthy family, like a kind of uh, presumptuous, uh, prepotent, uh, very proud of his money. Uh, usually they have very good economic opposition, so... Uh, but, but in the romantic sense, you can say mi rey, mi reina, mi vida, mi cielo, uh, mi corazón. Mm -hmm. You can say also my love, mi amor. Uh, it depends on, on what you want to say. It so reminds Spanish me. Is... It's... It reminds me of yeah, in Crimea, Ukrainian. Crimean Tatar, uh, Janem, my heart, my soul, my heart. Uh, yeah. You can also say my soul, mi alma. This is not so common. Uh, you can 
you can you can uh, say it, usually more a man will call these uh, a woman and usually it's uh, like mi alma my soul uh, you can also invert the the order to make it sound even more dramatic and say alma mia uh, mm -hmm. corazón mío cielo mío mm -hmm. uh, and uh, what else i am thinking uh, uh in spanish um you have many 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 uh ways of referring to someone like for example the, if you read uh, poetry in spanish uh there's uh one phrase of uh pablo neruda for example is like really really good poem if you want to learn a lot of poetry in spanish um i have a fame a favorite poem by Pablo Neruda. Uh, Pablo Neruda was a Chilean. Uh, he's from Chile. Uh, it's not Mexico, but uh, he is very, very good poet. Uh, there is this poem that it's called La Reina, uh, which means the queen. I like it because it's a love poem, but I think it's an honest love poem. Um, if you have time, I will tell you why. Is that okay? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I take that as a yes. <laughs> sí. uh, so uh, the poem is um, yo, yo te he nombrado reina. I have named you the queen. Um, hay muchas más altas que tú, más altas. There are many who are taller than you, much taller. Hay muchas más bellas que tú, más bellas. There are many who are more beautiful than you. Yes, they are. Uh, hay muchas más puras que tú, más puras. There are many who are more pure, more virtuous than you. Yes, they are. Pero tú eres la reina. But you are the queen. Uh, cuando vas por las calles, when you go through the streets, nadie eh, mira tu corona de cristal. No one looks at your crystal crown, the crystal crown that you're wearing. Uh, nadie mira la alfombra de oro rojo que pisas donde pasas. No one looks at the red carpet that you are walking in. Uh, la alfombra que no existe. The carpet that does not exist. Pero cuando asomas. But when you come out, when I see you. When you come out in the street. Pero cuando asomas. Suenan todos los ríos de mi cuerpo. All the rivers in inside my body start like ringing. Uh, like like singing, like flowing. Uh -huh. Suenan todos los ríos en cuerpo. Doblan al viento las campanas. The bells start tolling. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Cuando asomas, suenan todos los ríos de mi cuerpo. Doblan al viento las campanas. Y un himno llena el mundo. And a song fills the world. The whole world is filled by a song. Solo tú y yo. Amor mío, only you and I, my love. Solo tú y yo, only you and I. Lo escuchamos. We listen to, to it. We are the only ones that listen to it. I think it's a beautiful poem. Because... Uh, it re she's... reminds me one of the sonnets of William Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a very similar. Like, it's, like, it's very good poems because like for another people, you are not special, but you are special for me. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is this is the the this is the this is why I think it's a uh, a uh, uh, very honest uh, love poem uh, because uh, of course if you read poetry you will see like oh you are this and you are that but uh, in this poem he is recognizing that yeah she's not the tallest she's not the most beautiful she's not the 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 most virtuous one but for him she is. It doesn't matter if anyone else can see it. For him, she is. So it's a very beautiful poem. And it's short, so you can learn it. Um, mm -hmm. What else? Um, for example, in, in some of our movies, uh, old Mexican movies, mm -hmm. we, we uh, had a, a, an actor. Uh, his name was Joaquin Pardavé. Uh, and this actor uh, always uh, is famous because he spoke like with a lot of references to uh, um, to, to maybe uh, works of literature. 
So in one movie, in one scene, he's calling a very uh, young, beautiful girl, Gazella, which is the translation for gazelle. So uh, of course, a gazelle is an animal, but he's using this word like to refer to her because she's really uh, like slim, beautiful with big eyes. Uh, in Arabic they're... culture, they also use this uh, symbol mm -hmm. uh, to describe someone mm -hmm. beautiful mm -hmm. and have uh, mm -hmm. who has a like, beautiful mm -hmm. figure of like so mm -hmm. yeah. But in Ukrainian, like you don't hear a lot. You have this gazelle is for car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, for example, in in other poem, I don't remember by by whom, uh, he's describing his the the eyes of her loved one and he is saying uh, uh, me miro en tus ojos oceanicos so literally he's, uh, he's saying like I am looking myself in your oceanic eyes and the eyes could be like oceanic because maybe they are green or, or, or blue but also because they are so deep so he literally loses himself uh, just looking at, at her. Um, so of course, if you, I, I believe maybe that in Ukrainian poetry, you also have these, these figures, maybe not the same, but to compare mm -hmm. people to some animals or flowers or plants, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Um, in Mexico, yes, sorry. Uh, in uh, Ukrainian culture, like for example, if you love someone, like someone, you can call this person uh, Sonechko. It's like mm -hmm. a very gentle form of uh, name uh, Sonce, Sun. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, if you call uh, Sonechko, it's like a sunshine. <laughs> mm -hmm. it, like, it, or you can also use some. Um, Animals, for example, uh, a zaychik, so mm -hmm. a rabbit. Not, not, not a rabbit. Zaychik, it's not a rabbit. Mm -hmm. uh, zaychik, yeah. it's yeah, yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and, and it's like, like, on the other hand, Sonichko is a ladybug. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We have the same bird for the uh, two different uh, objects. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like we have this uh, uh, like uh, words playing when we say some yeah, when words have some uh, different like one word have two meanings we can mm -hmm. play on this like uh, make jokes and another. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. in, in Spanish, for example, we could say that someone is the so el sol, the sun. Uh, so if I understand correctly, sonachko it's like small sun. Mm -hmm. little sun it's like yeah. tender way uh in spanish we would say solecito but, but solecito. we would say like, oh, yes. solecito. Uh -huh. uh, solecito. but we would say like sol uh but this would be like for a man I, you could use also with a woman but it's much more 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 common with a man because sol is like a, a masculine male word. male uh -huh, masculine, male yeah. uh, and for women you would say lucero uh estrella Estrella is like a circle. It's like star. Uh, uh, and we even no, have a it... female name. Uh, yeah. We have female names. You can call a girl Estrella. This is like her given name. Or Lucero. Yes, if you have the same, the same, Zirochka. Zirochka or Zirochka. It's like uh, the star. <laughs> uh -huh, like the star. The star. Uh -huh. Yeah, she's your star. She's your your... Your, your Lucero, she guides you. She casts light upon you. You are nothing without her. So, you, you know, we are like really <laughs> passionate people for us. So <laughs> you can see that in our language. Like we are real passionate people. Like um, there, uh, there was, uh, uh, for example, Spanish music. Uh, many people like identify now... Uh, Bad Bunny, uh, something like Daddy Yankee, but if you listen like to old music, like 1950s, 1940s, ballads, ballads, uh, yeah, like ballads. We have, uh -huh, we have balladas, but there's a a a, a genre that's called son. Uh, so for example, the the this uh, genre was sung by quartets or triplets 
so uh and 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 the the, the so the, the lyrics are so so romantic poetic uh there is uh one singer i believe he was from ecuador i don't remember let me look but his name is julio jaramillo uh and and it's like a really he was really famous because he uh developed this uh yeah he was ecuadorian ecuadorian singer he developed this genre and uh, he has a very famous song that's called nuestro juramento which is like our pledge and basically in this song he's singing to to his beloved and he's saying like i cannot see you weep or cry because it it kills me it 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 kills me um uh, I uh, when I see you cry, my heart is filled with anguish, uh, and and they sing this with uh, a a really slow fashion, playing the guitar. Uh, it's it's not like a genre where you use a lot of musical instruments and have like really um, rapid changes in the melody. It's really really soft. Uh, it's when you see these cartoons maybe, and they turn on the radio and you see like really slow music. It's like that. Uh, so he's saying, mm -hmm. like, I cannot see you weep because it kills me. Uh, if you shed tears, my heart is filled with anguish. Um, let me remember the, the lyrics. Okay. So Sorry, I'm remembering the, the, the song. I can sing it in Spanish if you want. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, and basically he's saying, like, we have made a pledge. Uh, uh, if uh, you promise me, if I if I die, it's a couple, of course. So if I die, if if I should uh, die first, please promise me that you will go to my tomb and you will weep, and you will release all your tears and you will weep because our love was so great. But should you die first, I will write the big story of our love but i will write this with uh, with special ink and this special ink it sounds gruesome maybe but in, if you hear it in spanish you say oh my god As um, a special uh, ink is his blood yes is the blood of my heart and after that i will die mm -hmm. uh -huh. and even uh -huh. if i don't know he sings i don't know if this if deaf people can love but if they do I will continue loving you after I die. <laughs> you know, you know, I you, you speak about this. It, it's about the sixties, seventies, yes. And mm -hmm. like I remember it this uh, this time in Ukrainian culture, and like mm -hmm. I feel so deep sadness because we have this uh, censor censoring uh, mm -hmm. in uh, Ukraine. Mm -hmm. culture because you uh, you describe so deep in lyrics but in ukraine you we can't describe our feelings in this way because like communists told like you can't write on this and this way so uh, mm -hmm. this period of time uh, uh, soviet occupation like is this we um, we have a lot of problems to uh, describe uh, ourselves uh, in culture, in music, because they, you can use an instrument, you can use only one word for something, mm -hmm. and you can't, like, we don't have, like, for example, some deep, intimate songs like this. Why? Who dictated these rules? Or they saw this as a communist threat? party? Communist party. Oh. Oh. But so uh... I'm listening. So we we really don't have like yeah we have songs about love, but it's not so intimate. You know, it's not about like I will write a poem with my blood. No, mm -hmm. we 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 didn't have we didn't have mm -hmm. like such mm -hmm. lyric. In this mm -hmm. time, so yeah, we have poets who write us such lyric, but uh, they was forbidden mm -hmm. in Soviet time. For example, mm -hmm. like Stux mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, or Simonenko, mm -hmm. and like it's so different. Like it's so different uh, cultural experience. So, <clears throat> Vitaly, it it could be a topic for your uh, podcast <laughs> about how Soviets 
broke our culture. <laughs> yeah, we, we should definitely take this for a podcast, and I think that uh, uh, we can try to do it together, even as you are mm -hmm. more proficient in Ukrainian literature than I am. I'm more of a, mm -hmm. a, a language study, not literature study. Mm -hmm. mm. I, I also more language, but... <laughs> oh, oh. Також мовник, не літератор. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see. But, but guys, uh, I, I, I believe that uh, your, uh, you have been, of course, your, I, I, I don't know, I'm sorry, like all the details about your, your, your history, I, I know that it has been very hard from, from the small part that I know that I have read, and from what I am seeing now, like uh, the current situation, but still you you cope, still you you laugh, still you endure, still you stand. So it's yes, like a miracle. you have been censored, <laughs> but it's it's like a miracle. So so I am thinking. I mean, in my limited perspective, again, uh, and I don't not wish to offend you, uh, but uh there has to be something because you have uh, like uh, all these traditions uh do this food these uh, costumes this everything but i think that of course part of this all this that you have is your language so there has to be something in your language because it's it's the way to pass your traditions or your food or mm -hmm. your... yes, it's yes, the way you yes. use so there has to be something special about it some okay for maybe example, you can... mm -hmm. we, we have example for uh, i like we talk a, a lot about this of how important ukrainian language is for mm -hmm. for keeping a what mm -hmm. we are mm -hmm. so it's a collective we... memory Yes, and uh, we, like we have this very bad example of Belarusians, who like mm -hmm. who literally almost lost their language and almost lost their identity. Mm -hmm. And so uh, every time when we look on the, on Belarusians, for example, it's it's really miracle that we survive with uh, Soviet occupation, that we keep what we are. Everything, mm -hmm. what we are, is that we try and to keep every piece of our culture, every piece of our language, just to remember who we are. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you, you're absolutely right. It's, it's something in our language. And, and I don't know what and, uh, it is. It reminds me of the quotes of Lina Kostenko, uh, the nations don't die from heart attacks. First, they mm -hmm. are reduced to the, their language. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, and she was, and she is right. She's still alive. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. She is very mm -hmm. old, but she is like the bad bitch. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I think it has to be something in your in your language. I, 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 I say something because, unfortunately, I don't know your language well enough to say. In my opinion, it can be this or that, and. No, I don't have such such background. Uh, it has to be something. I I, I don't know. Some, some the languages sometimes have words, as I have told you, that you cannot translate with another word directly to to other language. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I have told you about this word apapacha. It, mm -hmm. it, it is yeah, a Mexican but... word. It's 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 like that. So, I, I the, the the closest example that I have, like in my limited experience with Ukrainian, is um, uh, when I was mm -hmm. reading this word, uh, so my my teacher was explaining, she knows Spanish, uh, that it's like uh, blooming with, with cherries. To, mm -hmm. to explain this in Spanish, you, you have the word bloom, which is florecer. Uh, but then you have to say that is specifically with cherries. So, uh, una cereza yes. que está floreciendo. But you have just one word to say this. Mm -hmm. And with this word, maybe in Ukrainian, if you know Ukrainian well enough, you just get the image of these cherries blooming. 
And uh, for me, it's like this word of Papachar. I have to explain. It's like when you hug someone, with your soul, with your heart. But I, in Spanish, if I listen to this word, I, I get the image. And I don't know. It's, a, for example, in Spanish, we have the word azul, which is color blue. But I, I don't know if Ukrainian, you have different words for different tones of color blue. Ah, polo blue. In in mm -hmm. it's it's future. It's future. No, no, no. The color, color, the color blue. Color blue. Ah, like light, light blue, Look. light blue, and uh -huh. uh, just blue. Uh, like uh, indigo color. More of indigo color is sunny, and more of light blue mm -hmm. or more of uh, uh, sky blue is uh, blockadne. You have one. And also with. And also we have uh, Vasilkovy. It's uh, flowers with yeah, it's, each, uh, yeah, have yeah, the yeah. colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have colors, specific words for specific tones of blue? We don't. We we uh, we we need to say azul, which is a generic word for blue, and then we say depending on the tone, azul celeste, like the sky blue. Azul marino, like the sea. Mm. Uh, azul Are you brave? Mm -hmm. you no, know, we have difference. But for example, if you want to say that something blue as uh, sea, you can say mm -hmm. like this word morske. It's a beautiful morske, but like like really, you can use this word not just describe that something belong to sea. But also describe the color of the sea. Mm -hmm. And Vishnevi, uh, it also means the uh, uh, color of cherry. Like red color. Mm -hmm. A red this color, dark, red dark as dark cherry. Red color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are also a bunch so of examples have... of this in English, like the color orange, or you can say peach or salmon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or tangerine. The same. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> like uh, the so color of many, many languages, the color yeah. of the tangerine is orange, and the color of the orange is tangerine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but in Spanish, we just use the one word, naranja, and uh, I believe that this word naranja comes from. Uh, I, I I read this long time ago. It was National Geographic or something. Naranja. Uh, it it was written like that. Uh, uh, and uh, in Spanish, naranja can mean both the color and the fruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the same in English. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. I, I believe the the color name comes from the fruit name. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's like uh, I don't know. Uh, for example. Um, here in in Mexico, um, we speaking about colors. Uh, we have uh, many variants of cactus. Uh, probably you know this. Uh, and because you have a lot of cactus. <laughs> yeah, because we have a <laughs> lot of cactus. Of course, <laughs> this is this is the time where I'm pointing the evidence. <laughs> so uh, we have lots of cactus. About in in these in certain variants of cactus. We have small buff that it's called cochinilla, uh, uh, grana cochinilla, and it's it it infests the cactus. So if you look at this, these cactus, they have like white uh, blemishes, white spots, which is where the colonies of these uh, bug lay their eggs and and infest the cactus. Uh, but if you take the bug and you like uh, grind it, you will get a beautiful color red it's maybe like the color of cherries depending so this was used like to um, dye clothes uh, this was used like to do the codex uh, in, in in Aztec uh, culture and when Spanish came this thing this pigment was worth its weight in gold so it was sent to Europe to, to dye clothes uh, and mm -hmm. and it's beautiful red color, even for. Example, and after this, uh, red colors become a color of kings and emperors. <laughs> yes, 
I'm sure mm -hmm. because it it's very very rare and such mm -hmm. bright red color yeah, and it's... very um you know, uh, expensive. expensive 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 color so that's mm -hmm. why it's color of uh, uh, kings actually I've heard a similar thing about purple just where it was very expensive to make yeah mm -hmm. we have that too. Uh, this uh, I just want to finalize uh, with uh, the red thing. Uh, so this um, there is a Japanese festival that it's called Hinamatsuri, and uh, in mm -hmm. this festival they they do uh, some uh, dolls, and the dolls are made out of wood, and, and they are painted like uh, their faces are white, and this white is made from the powder of seashells, and they're hair is painted with black expensive sumi ink and the red and the lips are painted red with this grana cochinilla because it's very very expensive now regarding this purple uh dye uh in the coast of oaxaca which is a region in the south uh, east southwestern part of mexico uh we have this special um variant of mollusk uh that we some some people from uh, indigenous communities are the only ones who can like milk these uh these these uh, molluscos this mollusk sorry uh because they milk it to, to, to like extracting like they massage the mollusk to extract some uh per, so, some drops of this purple dye uh and it can be from really really uh, black to really really violet and and the price of items textiles woven with this natural uh, dye are very very expensive some people are uh, we also have some artists that have become famous by using this dial in their in their paints but of course we have the the, the data from uh, ancient times in, in the Roman Empire when this uh, purple dye was uh, reserved only for emperors or members of the high class mm -hmm. and, and the textiles were really, really expensive. Sorry, guys, I have to go. <laughs> oh, that was so cool <laughs> speaking with you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank okay. you too. Thank right, you, it was good Rebecca. to see you, Rebecca. Thank you, guys. Have good holidays and a nice day, and we'll see each other later. Okay. You too. Likewise, guys. Thank you, guys. Bye. 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 Isho. Tikaimo, rostikaimo, rozbihoimo. Tikaimo.